Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be update 5 to my Pandos eyeshadows project and I talk a lot about this project every single time I do updates so I will have my intro listed in the description box if you do not know what I'm doing in this project but basically I am working on five shadows at a time and trying to hit pan on them and I chose them roulette style uh, three palettes and two single eyeshadows so let's jump into the progress I've made since last update Okay, so if you remember from last update, I said that the only eyeshadow that I was sort of close on hitting pan on was Synergy from the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. And I'm happy to report that I did hit pan on this one, but I did it just earlier this week. So yeah, the pan is pretty new, but this is a shimmery sort of mid-tone brown. So not like too warm and not too, like definitely not cool. Uh, but it's just a pretty brown shade and I've been using this a ton. This month I've actually been using it in my crease and sort of on my outer corner. So I have three looks where I did, or four because two were very similar, but where I put Synergy on my outer corner and up into my crease. And then the first one I put Caitlyn Rose. Uh, from Makeup Geek which I'm also using in this product. I put that one on the inner corner and then the second one I put Marvel from uh, the Tarte palette that I'm also working on that we will get to later and then in the third one I put Fringe which is in the Urban Decay palette which I'm working on but then I didn't really like how that came out so I put Marvel on top. And then I also did a few looks because this month I got a package of the Colored Rain uh, or I bought the Colored Rain Vivid Pigment Shadow. So I decided to just sit down, play around with those shadows and then also Synergy because I really wanted to hit pan and like I love just sitting and playing around with my eyeshadows and I wanted to play around with the color rain shadows as I said so I did four looks in one day and the first one I did was sort of like a purpley pink look so I have a pink, a pink all in my crease and then I have a purple sort of also in my crease and then an even darker purple on my outer corner and then I just did like a half cut crease with Synergy and put that on like the inner half of my eyelids and then I also did one where I put sort of a peach uh, as a transition shade and then I put like a orangey peach in my crease and then I put the red in my crease and a darker brown and then I put Synergy all over my lid and sort of blended that in, up into my crease and I really really loved this look so I did this one twice I did it once where I did it like in the evening and then I did it like the day after for like work slash school uh, because that's what I like to do. I like to like sit around and play with my makeup and come up with like combinations of uh, looks and then I sort of wear them like I do them later on and wear them throughout the day and I also like in that session I also put sort of greens in my crease and then I did like a full cut crease with sort of creating a wing shape, wing shape and I put synergy all over and then I also wanted to try out the blues from the pigment so I just put Synergy all over my lid and sort of blended up into the crease with a matte brown and then I just used like the blue as a wing. Uh, so yeah those were the four looks I did just sitting down and then as I said before I did the, the looks in the crease and all of that and I wanted to mention for the look that I did like the day after I did the evening look sort of. Uh, I did put Magic Act from Makeup Geek in the center of my lid which I thought paired so so well with this shadow and definitely a combo I will be wearing in the future as well. So yeah that was all of the progress I've made on Synergy and I'm so happy I finally pan in that one because that one has been in this project since like uh, when I did the intro in January. So very very happy I hit pan in that one and we will be uh, grabbing for a new palette at the end of this video. So uh, let's just continue with the palettes. The next one I'm going to talk about is the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette and in this palette I have been working on Marvel and 
Uh, I will show you a close-up, but you can sort of see a deep forming and this was barely used when I put this in this project last update. So I do have a sort of a deep and I'm really happy with the looks that I have done with this. Like it's a very pretty eyeshadow and I really like it on like the inner half of my lid. So the first look I did was a very like bold pink look with a uh, marble all in my like inner crease. And then I did a look where I used Marvel as a liner and of course I used it on my inner corner with Synergy a lot. I feel like I think I've done more looks, I just haven't sort of taken pictures of them. But yeah, I'm really happy to be using this and I think I might be able to hit pan in this one for next update or maybe the update after that. And then the last palette is uh, the Urban Decay Electric palette and unfortunately I haven't been reaching for this a ton. You can see there is a tiny dip but I don't know for some reason I just don't reach for this palette a lot uh, which is sad because it's a really pretty palette but I'm just going to continue working on that one and like eventually it will jump up to the priority of my like list of eyeshadows I want to work on so hopefully within like this year I will hit pan on it but I wanted to show some of the looks that I've done with this I yeah I haven't used this in too many looks I can't really remember so next time I will be sure to be better about using this one in looks and showing you maybe I will do one of those where I did with Synergy that I do like four looks in one evening and then maybe I can find a look that I really like to use it with and sort of use it uh, for everyday use as well but yeah let's move on to the single shadows so let's start with Dragonfly from Makeup Geek which has been here quite a while now this has a tiny dip but it's a matte that is really really hard packed into the pan so I actually don't think that I will be able to pan in this one before the end of the year because it's such a bold eyeshadow and I'm I don't know I feel like I've used it a ton and you can't see that much uh, progress in it so I don't think I have that many like uses of it left in me this year but we'll see. Uh, I have used it sort of in my crease as I usually do in one of the looks I showed you before and then I have this look where I did sort of a um, sort of halo cut crease look and in that look I also used the second single eyeshadow that I have which is uh, Caitlyn Rose from Makeup Geek and this is sort of also a bit hard packed in there so you can't really see that I've used it quite a bit but there is sort of like a deep forming in it so hopefully I will be able to pan in this before the end of the year but as I said I used it in the sort of halo cut crease look and then as I said before I used it in the look with synergy like on my inner corner and I also did another sort of half or halo cut crease look uh, where I used it sort of on the outer and inner corner and yeah I think that's it I have used it more but that's those are the photos that I've gotten all the looks with it so yeah those were the eyeshadows that I have been working on hopefully you enjoyed watching my looks because last time I didn't have that many looks so I did sort of like a demo of the look I was wearing in that video while talking about the eyeshadows but this time just because I had so many looks I knew I wanted to talk about I decided to not include a demo but I don't know sometimes I probably will and sometimes I probably won't so let's grab my jar with the palettes that I have written down so uh, yeah I'm just going to grab one and then we'll see which I get okay so here we have sleek on the horizon so I'm going to grab that one decide which I want to focus on and then I'm going to get back <laughs> Okay, so as I said before, I got the Sleek Makeup on the Horizon palette and this was a limited edition palette and I think I got it last year or the end of the year before that maybe, maybe the end of 2016. But this is what it looks like on the inside and it is a really pretty palette. I think I decluttered this to my mom but she did not use it so I got it back from her. But uh, so yeah, this is what the palette looks like and to sort of challenge myself or like I feel like it will be sort of to challenge myself and to sort of mesh with the other shadows that I'm working on in this product 
I decided to go with this orange right here. I don't use oranges too often except for in my crease like today. I like to use warm shades in my crease but then I like to use sort of cooler tones like I have on the inner corner and sort of center of my lid. I like to use those like on the like on the lid just because I don't I don't know I just I don't know <laughs> I don't wear warm eyeshadows that much even though I feel like I've been using it a lot for filming but anyways I decided to go with this orange shade right here and I decided to swatch all of the shades that I'm working on so here you have like I swatched them all out and then I sort of hold this uh, like sort of these swatches to the palette and then I decide which one I want to choose but this one is Tarte Marble and then we have Urban Decay Fringe and then we have Caitlyn Rose by Makeup Geek, Dragonfly by Makeup Geek and then here you have the orange from the On The Horizon palette. So this is the color palette that I will be working on until next update and yeah Stay tuned for that one if you want to see how I do on these shadows and give this a thumbs up so that I know you enjoy watching me pan my eyeshadows roulette style and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one.